Hello everyone, and welcome back to All The Mods 6. We are in fact back on the server, and I decided we'd check out the server base. Now, I was gonna I was gonna record another normal episode, um, but I kind of don't want to do that because, I, I'll be honest, I'm just gonna say it, I sort of want to start on either All The Mods 7, or some other big, similar, like, kitchen sink type mod pack. Um, that, that's updated most likely that that's sort of what I'm thinking at the moment um and I don't want to I don't want to be playing like normal old mod six and then like you know sort of get bored of a, a kitchen sink pack again before I even begin uh, because I'm, I'm sort of itching for it but like I, I was going through the mod list here we've done a lot of it we've, we've definitely done a lot of it to episode 223 and or, or something like that and and about a thousand of you guys showed up to watch it so um so yeah we'll, we'll check out some bases because if you have a look at this map I'm not sure what you can see on your screen. <laughs> All these little dots are bases. We are currently at this little little rectangle here, and this is actually the Water Tower Federation. Um, so this claim actually belongs to one of my server mods, um, Mr. Polly himself. Um, he's got a pretty nice island here, and he's, he's set up a factory right in the middle. Um, we can toggle in our shaders. Um, I'm, I'm using a SUS PTGI E12 shaders uh at the moment um and i'm using the mods rubidium and oculus that allows me to do that toggle them on and off which is really cool um so right off the bat from, from the looks of this the worst part of the base are these two bits here these two um uh whatchamacallums woot mob farms they're sort of just like slapped out on the side they don't really have a building around them yet although there's like there's some area cleared around and there's like plenty of room to build something around there but i guess maybe either he didn't get to it or who knows, to, to be honest. Um, but hey, listen, <laughs> for, I think that's as bad as it gets, if you can believe it. Um, because the rest of this stuff actually looks really nice. Um, we've got a massive, like, zigzag floor on the ground here. Sorry if I just stunned you guys. By the way, the whole thing in the sky, like, whatever this is, that's not your monitor. Don't, don't freak out. Something to do with the shaders. Um, yeah, I don't, <laughs> I really don't know what it's from. I'll try and fix that later, if it can even be fixed. Ah, uh, now that I've pointed it out, we can't unsee it, can we? Alright, I ended up uh, switching back to Seuss Renewed. Now, I'll, I'll probably be toggling them off for most of the part, but there'll be some rooms that we might want to look at with a little bit of, you know, shadows and, and glow and, and, I guess, natural lighting. Um, But obviously, you know, our frame rate does suffer, so we will be switching uh, to and fro. But this side of the place is pretty nice. It, it's very, like, the whole base is pretty clean. Like, even that stuff over there, it's like, you know, what, what do you expect? You know what I mean? Like, it, it looks pretty decent. Um, over here, we have the fusion crafting core. Um, it's set up with some uh, crafting injectors. How's this been done? Oh, yeah. The, okay, wait, wait. So, so these are, this has been done with pipes, which I believe is transferring um, not only the items, but also the energy, the universal pipes. Um, and then the actual crafting is done with um, applied energistics because Polly is a big uh, believer in applied energistics. Um, so this entire base, I believe, is powered by applied energistics. So um, this is all set up with auto crafting. Um, what is this? Oh, it's... This is a chest. If you can believe it or not, that was a chest we were looking at. Beautiful. Um, okay, over here, man, I, I don't even know what we're looking at. So we've got a bunch of phytogenic insulators. These guys have, okay, products may be transferred to input on process completion. Oh, okay, so instead of having this um, seeds going into the system and then needing to be pumped back in, this upgrade actually puts them directly back into the input slot. So all you get is the output. Um, so, so these are all set up. I, I guess it's just a row of farms. Um, they go into the formulatic assemblicator because of course they do and I, I don't actually have permit How do I not have permission? I'm the, I'm the ruler. Okay. Well, we, we don't know what that does, but it does something I guess you know what we can look it up <laughs> formula formula lake uh, Blah blah blah. Okay, okay. Look at this. It's just like a crafting table So I imagine it's some sort of auto crafter and it's turning um, what are these? I guess it's turning them into soul sand. That's what it's sort of looking like um, and then over here. Oh, Okay, over here, I guess we have uh, what is apparently needed to create Vegemite. One of these things probably has like a bucket of hell um, because that's ugh, Vegemite. Listen, listen, I might have the voice, but man, man I don't have the taste buds. I'll tell you that much. Um, <laughs> all right, what, what do we have here? We have two buckets or, or two, <laughs> two tanks, liquid meat, pink slime, as you see. Um, this is quite a... Quite a brain full, I guess. An, an eyeful? I, I don't really know what I'm looking at. Um, we've got an injection press with different dyes, I guess. An enchant liquefier. A dissolution chamber all hooked up together. A pretty ridiculous... Why does the dissolution chamber have liquid enchant in it? Is that actually a thing? Dissolution. 
So the dissolution chamber, it's got 26 recipes. I didn't think that any of them used um, enchant. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what it's called. Look at enchant. Um, are we able to actually look this up? Um, I would hope so, but I, okay, yeah, here we go. Liquid enchant. Uh, no, it actually, it doesn't show, uh, dissolution chamber as being a, a, a crafting thing, but it's in there. It's doing something, <laughs> I guess. Um, all right, we've got a, a pen here with some item users and an animal rancher. So this is getting a uh, wool and I think it also gets like, um, sludge from memory. Um, latex in there and then what's in this? Oh, this is the... Oh, okay. This is where they're getting latex. That, may, that makes sense. Um, over here, just a simple enchantment area. We've got some disenchanters. We have some void anvils. Um, what's, what's going on over here? We have anti-magnet powers. We have a block breaker, a block placer, and an item collector. Okay. Some sort of uh, farming. Maybe what's in here? Quartz. Interesting. Not, not too sure what's going on there. Um, over here, we have some pedestals for, I guess, uh, enchanting and, and anviling things up. Actually, yeah, I think this is specifically anviling, right? Because you put the you put the item in the middle, you put the book here, and it enchants it. Um, pretty simple. Um, all right, we'll continue over. Um, but by the way, I don't know if this base is finished and meant to be looked at, but I mean, like the I'll tell you what, it's nearing its end. It's nearing its end times. This uh this server. Um, it, it's sad to say, but it, I mean, it's 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 had a good run. Um, what's this? Primary facility mark three. Okay. Is there a primary facility mark mark one? Oh, I, I imagine um, these were from previous bases that were made. Um, I guess we'll walk in, although I'm instantly overwhelmed. Okay, let, let, let's see what this looks like um, with shaders on. Oh, hey, hey, pretty beautiful. I mean, it might be difficult to play like this, but man, if you wanted to snap up a screenshot for Instagram, uh, <laughs> no, but genuinely, um, like, oh, isn't that beautiful? I, man. <laughs> it's very difficult for me to not just spend the rest of the video going, whoa, whoa, uh, okay, but, but we have a base look at, oh, I'm pressing all the, man, everything is this beautiful, <laughs> and then we turn it off, and it's just, it's just Minecraft, um, okay, this corner is some sort of brewing corner, we've got a, a bunch of magma powered things, and, and some blaze things, a crucible from Eidolon, did I ever try out Eidolon, or Eidolon, or, or whatever it is, I don't think I did, I'll, um, I'll bookmark some planks <laughs> from Eidolon. Let me know if I should check this out, um, before we wrap up this series. Uh, because I don't know what it does. I don't know what the point is. Um, but there's some crazy stuff. Still life from us. Oh, a bunch of necklaces and things. Okay. Um, in here we have a training dummy. So you can punch it. Tells you how much damage you do. Bam. 16,000 damage. Sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> um, okay. What do we have here? A matter condenser. Um... I'm pretty sure I crashed the server with one of these before. They're a bit, they're a bit scary. Um, a scribe's table. Oh, this is nice. This is very cozy. Um, two solidification chambers and two melting chambers right next to each other. And, and they look very cozy. <laughs> I, I don't, for some reason, I don't think I've ever seen this very specific niche setup. I've, I've never seen that before, but it looks nice. Um, what do we have over here? I, I mean, just a, a fumble of machines. The, the, the fact that he has the audacity to say Mark III is just, man, I would, I would love to see the first two. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm allowed to bully him. He, um, he, uh, helps our server. <laughs> that, that's how that works, right? Um, yeah, you, you can bully your friends, I think. Um, okay. I, man, what, what is, what is that? Okay. There's a tackle box. This has a diamond fishing rod in it with, ang oh my God, Angler's Bounty, um, Luck of the Sea, Lure, Nature's Mend, and Salmon. It's got like life mending and stuff, but that, that doesn't really matter. Um, and then a, a nether star hook, 50% chance to not use durability and increase lock. A tackle box. I've never used a tackle box before. Oh, the visuals are really nice. Look at that. Okay. Very interesting. A tackle box. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're finding some stuff we might be able to check out because I, I really don't know what that does. Um, okay. A few machines, mechanical drying basin, some workbenches. What's this? Charity. This is, um, this is charity. I can, I can donate to the less fortunate. Okay. What, what do I have for them? You know what? I've got, I've got some, I've got a tattered cloth. I've got some inferior mess. Hey, it's on the house. You can take it. Um, all right. We have, we have no, we have, um, NBT extractor and some other stuff. What's this? Um, oh, 
I think that's how much power is currently being stored. That is a lot of power. Wait, wait, can we count those real quick? One, two, three, or four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten digits? Is that ten digits? Is that a is that a trillion? Am I a trillion or a billion? It's one of them. Yeah, it's, it's something. Something's in there. <laughs> um, all right, we, we got some cables down here. Um, what's, what's this? Um, turntable. It's a turntable. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Um, a security desk. I said that this is the thing that's locking me out of uh, all those machines and stuff. One, one of these bad boys, I guess. Oh, the floor's also dancing around a little bit. Um, a lot of globes as well. I think um, the roof. Yeah, the roof's just got a bunch of globes. I don't... I guess you can spin them. Eh, they're not worthless. <laughs> okay, well, that was the uh, that was the production area. There wasn't any uh, elevators that we could clearly um, see. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Hopefully I didn't miss them. There's this one here, which I... Let's have a quick preview. See what we're sort of dealing with. Okay, okay. It looks like we've got some work in progress things. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll still check them out. Um, all right, next up, I'm going to check out processing. This, I think, is going to be a lot more satisfying to look at. You know what I just realized? Man... I really miss buildcraft pipes. Like, it has been pretty much every season, every every season, every series we've done for a really long time now has just been these pipes. And they work well, and they're good for the server, but they're not the same. You know what I mean? They're not just a, a good old wooden pipe with, like, a, a redstone engine on it. Ah, oh, man, I miss those. Um, Anyhow, <laughs> yeah, well, what do we have set up here? We have um, Blackstone going into... A crafter. It's being crafted into, into magmatic stone. Okay. Then the magmatic stone is going um, into this guy, into the fluid encapsulator. No, he's not. Why is he doing that? Huh. Why is he doing that? Oh, no. The bucket is going into there to be refilled with lava. That makes sense. Then the magmatic stone is being heated into a magma block, which is being melted into lava. Wait. And then the lava's going back into the fluid encapsulator. And then it's also filling up tanks. It's filling up a solidification chamber to make um to make obsidian. It's Oh. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. So that so it's infinite blackstone, and then you create a bunch of lava by turning it into magma blocks by just using some RF to heat up a magmatic stone. Okay. I mean I get that. I get that. Like, if we ever look at um a magmatic... Uh, actually, if we just look at lava, we would probably get a better picture here. If we look at lava, and we click on the... um da, 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 The magma crucible, right? Is that is that what's being used? Yeah, yeah. these guys are magma crucibles. Okay, so, so lava um, inside a magma crucible. You can see that a magma block gives you a full bucket, right? Um, an obsidian gives you a full bucket. Cobblestone also gives you a full bucket. Um, so I don't, I don't really, I don't know. I don't understand why. <laughs> I'm kind of, listen, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I, I, I like the spirit, but I, I don't think it's worth it. Oh, wait, hold on. It uses less energy. That's something. It uses 40,000 RF instead of 200,000. So you, you know what? It's energy efficient. Okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I still, is energy an issue? I don't... Okay, a anyway, anyway, we'll move on here. Um, what do we have? We have um, cobblestone into gravel, into sand, into dust. Is that a thing? Oh, into glass. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. That's the smelter down there. Yeah, two crushes and smelter. Beautiful. Okay, it's a, it's a simple room. Uh, we do have levels here. We can go up a level. And this is going to be almost like a server room. This is just some... Some high-level computing for all the auto-crafting. I will say, in terms of, like, um, visuals and, and making cool bases, um, Applied Energistics has the visuals down. Like, these look so nice. Um, refined Storage, all of this is, like, within a single block. You know what I mean? So, it's a lot easier. It's it's a lot easier. Um, but you do you do lose out on, I guess, the, the experience, right? The experience of building it. Um, what, what do we have down here? An injection press, a die liquefier. Okay, it's um, I'd try to unravel these uh this mess of wires, um, but that's that's gonna take too much brain power. Um, is there another level up? I don't think so. No, it doesn't look like it. But there might be a basement. No, there's not. Oh, oh, we're spared. <laughs> I guess. Oh, these cables go. Oh, 
That is a massive cable. Okay. Um, this next room is the pro- Oh, uh, you know what? Hold on. We forgot to look at this room. Oh, man. I love that I can just toggle shaders on. How cool is that? Man. That is- Oh, that is beautiful. Okay. This room isn't as stunning as the other room. It could also be a different time of day. I don't think it is, but, um... This looks nice. I think the crucible's glowing. Um, there's definitely some blocks in here that should be glowing too. Like, maybe a little bit of the gilded or something, but, um... Maybe some of the machines. Uh, they might not be... Oh, no, it's full of power. Maybe a little online. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, um, this next room over here is the primary power facility. And just from the outside, it looks pretty cool. Um, so this right here is a bigger reactor. Another thing which I don't think I've touched, bigger reactor. Can I... Reactor. Reactor. I'll just bookmark that. Um, we might look at these. We might not. Uh, it, it depends. Um, okay. In fact, I think we did look at a bigger reactor, but we didn't really push its limits, you know? Um, so I think what we've got here is quite literally a reactor. Um, it's currently off. There's a spot for water. There's a spot for steam, which you obviously want to output into the turbine that's over there. Um, I think I think you can put solid coolant, um, but obviously we want steam, so I think liquid coolant goes in. And then I'm guessing, are those the fuel? Or I, I don't really know how this works, but... I would have thought that's the liquid cooling, but it looks like that's all that's in there. Um, anyhow, this is the turbine, which actually looks really sick. Um, so, so those are big blades. I imagine when it's on, it looks spectacular. And then it, and then, I don't know. I'm, I'm guessing the blades spin. I'd hope they would. I don't know why there's a big block of um, all the modium, uh, but then there's the t turbine rotor bearing. And then I guess you can see all the information about the power and whatnot. It's very cool. Oh, and, the, and these are two... Okay, wait, wait. Is this one reactor? Yeah, okay, so it's one reactor, um, but it's hooked up to two separate turbines. Oh, that's really neat. I don't, oh, this is, oh, this is cool. I, I, I'll be honest, I didn't know about the turbine. I, I did not know that bigger reactors had a, had a bigger turbine as well. That is really cool. We might be trying that out. We, we might be, um, oh, we could, we could put it next to the, um, mechanism reactor and turbine stuff that we have set up. I, they might have blown up. They <laughs> they might not be with us. Um, oh, we do have a basement. Uh, one basement, it looks like. Down here, we have... What are these? A cyanide reprocessor. Okay. So, I, I'm pretty sure you get cyanide as a um, an expenditure, right? Like, the bigger reactor, it burns the uranium, and you get cyanide. And then, apparently, you can put it through this machine, and it um it fixes it. And yet, it doesn't show it on this list up here. So it's like a little bit of an extra thing. And then you get some sort of blueing it. So if we actually search for bigger reactors, you'd get this. You get plutonium. And then the plutonium, you do something with it. <laughs> I don't know what you do with it, but you, yeah, it exists. It exists, I'll tell you that much. Okay, you know what? I think it goes right back in as a fuel. Because look, it's going right back in. Very, very intriguing. Okay, um, is there another level? Oh, there is. Oh, it is, oh my god. It's one massive reactor. It, it, like, it keeps going up. Okay, like, although it's leveled off here, it's still, it's hollow. I, I think? Yeah, I think, I think it is hollow. And then we've got two more turbines here. So we've got four turbines total, all, all hooked up here. That is beautiful. Oh, and, and, and come on. Let's slap on the shaders. Oh, oh, this, this room looks very nice with the shaders. It, it feels a lot, um, a lot more, um, fitting. You know what I mean? It feels realistic. <laughs> it feels realistic. This giant reactor that I'm walking around, um, with, with giant blocks of, to be honest, that kind of looks like the plutonium. I don't really know what that is. Um, we can go down here as well. Um, basement. Oh, basement's nice and gloomy <laughs> or moody, I guess. Okay. Beautiful. I, I'll tell you what. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, what else do we have? So, so we've checked out the main buildings, I believe. Oh, hold on. Am I meant to... Do I interact with this? There's nothing here. Once upon a time, I might have been told to type something in there. <laughs> I don't remember what it was. And, and I haven't asked. Um, okay. What, what do we have here? We have some... Um, we have some stuff making brine. The brine is going... Actually... Oh, yeah, yeah. This makes brine. The brine goes in here and it turns into lithium. The lithium then transforms into non-liquid lithium. It turns into lithium lithium, which then eventually makes it into this barrel of lithium dust. Beautiful. And then that goes all the way over here 
into and then the chest. Nice. Oh, we've got um, uh, some emeralds. Sure. There they are. <laughs> and this is actually using um, cinnabar for the smelter to get rich slag. And then basalt's powder for the pulverizer to get extra emeralds. And I guess it was comparing the uh, the rates at which you actually earn the um, emeralds like per stack or, or per a few stacks, three stacks, four stacks or whatever. Um, oh, here we go. This is the five times ore processing plant. By the way, these little things we see around, those are actually lights. They're little edge lights. They sit in the corner. Th th that was the other thing. Like when I turn these, ah, oh, you know what? They actually do emit some light. That's pretty nice. Normally, uh, a lot of modded blocks don't really show off um, their glow for whatever reason, but, but th these ones do, which are nice. Um, so in here, uh, where's the starting point? Oh, it's, it's actually just over here. So you place an ore in. You, you know what? Let's let's see if this operation is still running. Let's put it to the test. Let me grab... Uh, oh, we've got a lot of ores. Um, can I... I'm going to grab an iron ore. I'm going to chuck it in. It's going to be dissolutioned. It's going to be washed. It's going to be crystallized. It will then be injected. Then it will be purified. It will then be crushed again, enriched. Finally, it will be smelted. And voila, I present to you five ingots for the price of one. Now, you might be thinking, that's really easy. Why Why did, when you do this, it made no, made harder? Hmm? <laughs> um, what was I trying to say? <laughs> to, to be fair, this is pretty chaotic. All these cables um, spread out um, among a big area. But I believe as well, th you can throw in a... Um, um, wow, what's it called? Elemental craft? Environmental craft. Elemental craft. You can throw in some elements. You can throw in some environmental elements into the, into the mix. And you can actually purify. And I believe you can get, um, seven times out of this. Um, I believe that's what we had set up. I don't know if that still works. We can possibly check it out at the end of this video. But, um, but yeah. To be honest, I think that's most of it. Uh, I guess, you know, because it's so easy to do. Let's check out this room with shaders. See, you know, you never know when you'll be surprised by like a, a stunning room. Like, oh, the effect that these windows give off with like the lights coming coming in. Man, that's beautiful. To be fair though, it gives a very much like a um, abandoned effect, which it pretty much is abandoned, but I imagine it wouldn't look much different even if it was active. Um, nice. Uh, last thing, but not least, is down here, we have the core. This would have been, oh, that's a big fall. Um, this would have been very beautiful with all the hallway set up and whatnot. But um, this is obviously a big controller from uh, Applied Net Logistics 2. We've got some auto crafting um, setting up in the walls here. A bunch of machines. We've got a few other little chests and doodads. Um, but yeah, it was clearly, you know, it was there was a vision. There was definitely a vision, but it, uh, it sadly did not come into complete uh, fruition. <laughs> um, all right, let's go down another level. Um, oh, down here we have the environmental controller. Can I open you? I can. This is applying saturation in the area to the, to these two, Derpy, Snow Luna, and um, Polly, um, in the that radius. So they would get saturation. Oh, there's also a void miner here. Nice. A um, palladium void miner, just chilling down here. Nice. Okay. Oh, and there's actually stuff in the corner. A, a spawner agitator for um, zombies and. A hand and a, and a flame and another hand. Okay. Um, we can we can slap on some shaders. Surprisingly, we don't see anything. Who would have thought? Um, if we go up a level, this was the course. See, like, um, what I was trying to say is like, this thing, the ME controller, it should be glowing. This thing should be emitting so much light. It should look so, so good. But sadly, it doesn't. Hopefully, hopefully in the future. Alrighty, so this was um, Water Tower Federation. Um, Derby Snow Luna might have been a part of this. Um, I, I just recognize this as being um, Polly's base and also th the design is very much a Polly design. He, he loves to put these um, big like uh, industrial buildings, these like skyscraper warehouse style uh, builds. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure this is Polly's base, but um, if, if uh, Derby Snow Luna was part of this as well, thank you for building the base. Thank you for taking the time uh, to build this stuff. Um, it... it just, just to, just to make it clear, if the server does shut down, I will 100%, without a doubt, have the map downloaded, and hopefully multiple uh, backups as well, um, so that on a rainy day <laughs> when things seem dark and gloomy, I can, uh, I can click on one of these squares and I can check out what, uh, what base lies awaiting for me. Um, lies await, wait, uh, lies, 
lies awake. Lies awake. See what see what base is waiting for me. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, thank you for the crazy support on that uh that last Ultimate Mod Six video. That was a uh, it was unexpected. I, I thought it would have a few more views. I didn't expect like a thousand of you guys to to all scramble out of the woodworks like, oh yes, my my old mod six fix. <laughs> it was it was long overdue to, to be fair because I I still haven't really done an ending video for that uh for that series yet. And I'll be honest, I, I don't know if I will. I I'm very bad at at letting things go like that <laughs> because one day I might go back to the series. You know, one day. You know, it could happen. It could happen. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I am planning. I do want to start up a new series. Um, at the moment, it's looking like all the mod seven. I want to jump into a one point eighteen pack to see the what new mods are, are, await us. Um, but but it's not set in stone just yet. But but I I also want to I want to announce it half half announce it so that you know it's in motion and, and it won't be a, a surprise too uh, too much. Um, so yeah. Oh, I, I I also was going to while I continue this outro. Let, let me see if my uh, my system still works. Um, it should, um, how do I get there? We'll, we'll just fly over to our processing area. I think I remember it over, over here. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh God. Oh God. We, we can toggle these off. Ah, oh, that, that looks familiar. Here we go. Um, <laughs> sorry. I'm very distracted in case you can't tell. Yeah. So, so we've got this stuff. I, I think, no, I don't think it's actually doubling. I think we're doubling Draconium more at the moment. Um, but, but basically these guys, the elemental, uh, and the ore purifiers, these would, uh, add an extra step. Then we have this guy, um, doesn't have any power or slurry. This guy doesn't have any anything. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Something. Something's definitely uh not 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 lived at this base. I don't know. We, we could do a we could do a restoration video maybe. I don't know. <laughs> um. Oh, I, I forgot I even did this. Anyway. Oh yeah. Oh, that stuff's so cool. Um. Then guys, for watching. Uh. Can Can I get back? Well, let me... Oh, it actually will. Nice. I wasn't expecting that. Um, <laughs> thank you to everyone who supported this channel. Um, and, of course, this series. Uh, thank you guys so much. Uh, big thank you, especially for this video, uh, to my mod team for uh, helping run these servers and the Discord um, and keeping everything everything flowing. And, um, and yeah, and helping on the videos and stuff. So, so thank you guys so much. Uh, thank you to everyone who supported me financially, um, whether it's watching ads on the videos or, or becoming a donator or a, or a channel member. Thank you guys so much. Um, that stuff helps out big time, and it made all this possible. And and I I don't think I could be more grateful. So um, thank you guys so much. Like, look, there's even small like, you think like, oh, these squares, you know, that's like, a, look at these chunks that have been claimed. This is a chunk. That little square there is a chunk. That little square is the equivalent. Is it gonna show? Can I? That is the equivalent of one of these, right? One of these things. You know what you can fit in one of these? You can fit like this entire structure. You know what I mean? And like, oh, there's so much. Okay, anyway, anyway, uh, I, I think I said the outro. I don't remember. Thank you guys for watching and hopefully I will see you guys in the next one, whatever that may be. Goodbye.